Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. That's what Ephesians 6.10, Paul instructed the believers in Ephesians in having victory and overcoming and standing against an invisible adversary, the devil and all the forces of darkness from. We have victory in the Lord, but in order to maintain that victory and walk in that victory, overcoming the attacks and the wiles and the tactics of the evil one, Paul tells us we must be strong in the Lord. In other words, be strong in who God is. Be strong in God's unchanging, infallible character. The fact that he never changes. He is almighty. He is faithful. He is loving. He is gracious. We must be strong in who God is. But not only to be strong in who God is, but to be strong in what he is able to do. Because Paul went on to say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. There is nothing that the power and the might of the Lord cannot do in our life. What God said he will do, he has the power and the ability to do and bring about in your life and my life. And Paul tells us, we can have victory over the enemy. So today, no matter what the devil is throwing at you, no matter what the devil is attacking you with, would you be strong in who God is and be strong in what he is able to do? He is able to provide, he is able to heal, he is able to set free, he is able to deliver, and the list goes on, on and on and on as to what our God is able to do. So be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you.